Last year, Alexei Navalny led street rallies against Russian President Vladimir Putin. This year, President Putin slapped back. Navalny was tried on charges of stealing timber. Two weeks ago, Navalny was convicted and sentenced to five years in prison. That sentence knocks Russia's most popular opposition leader out of Russia's next presidential election. The day after the conviction, Navalny was released to run for mayor of Moscow, Russia's largest city. By the end of Lilia Shevtsova analyzes Russian politics for Carnegie Moscow Center. They want Moscow election to be legitimate, to legitimize Sergei Sabyanin and to get him re-elected, having at least some viable opponent. President Putin's former chief of staff, Sergei Sabyanin, was appointed mayor of Moscow three years ago. Now he wants to earn the title in elections September 8. Out on the street, there is strong support for Sobyanin, who is changing Moscow, creating pedestrian streets like this one. Vagan Davidyans is a lawyer downtown. So I think we have to give him for the next four years, for five years, uh, to do all the things he planned to do, because two years is not enough. He's on the just only first step of his uh, rechanges of Moscow. So I'm, I'm going to vote for him. Yulia Zuyeva likes the changes she sees from her pedicab. He was a great mayor in his former city, and when he came to Moscow, he also fulfilled a lot of the work he had planned. But others say Russian politics needs a change more than fresh cement. Maria stopped by a sidewalk Navalny campaign tent. I'm voting for Navalny, and not because he's some kind of superhero, but because I think he's a real person. Igor Tarasov, an IT worker, handed out leaflets for Navalny. He explained why. Navalny is the candidate I like because he's more open than the others, and I believe that with him the government will become more transparent, more democratic, and more pro-Western. Policemen tried to close the Navalny campaign tent. He forbid other activists from working here. He wanted to arrest me, but I said I would stand here alone. And according to the law, a one-person picket doesn't require any permission. In Vladimir Putin's Russia, old habits die hard. Analysts predict that the Kremlin will put Navalny back in jail after the September election. But this time, he could go to jail bolstered by the votes of tens of thousands of voters in the nation's capital. James Brook, VOA News, Moscow.